Oh, it's a crazy UFO. Hello guys. So today for me, not for you guys, it's Tuesday the 21st. Tomorrow is my 21st birthday. Oh my gosh. April 22nd. Tomorrow I'm turning 21. For you guys, it's Friday. So today I am going to be trying four different things that my older sister gave me for my birthday. They're pretty interesting. The first one is the Phantom Saucer as seen on TV. And now this looks really interesting. Whoa. It really looks like foil and like cardboard together. So um, inside of this Phantom Saucer box, supposedly it has the how do you do that online video and the Phantom Saucer itself. So this is the box. And, you know, just like that. So let's open it up and give it a try. The other things that I'm going to be trying that my older sister got me are a couple different chocolates. There's like potato chip one, um, bacon, and this uh, firecracker one. We'll get to those in a second. So opening the box, we're just going to pull this out. Oh my gosh. Let's see those little bottles in there. Oh, that is really interesting. Alright, so in here are the how-to guide, the directions and everything. Um, you can already see it's a hoax. It's not... Oh, and then a... Oh, that's cool. Oh, a diamond ring. Oh, so pretty. Alright, so let's get this going. Oh, there's one more thing. Phantom saucer, phantom code... Blah, blah, blah. Ooh, you get it scratched off. So this is the code to do the video, which I'm not really interested in. I just want to try this out. So, we got this, and we got this. So, oh jeez. Okay, um, blah, 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 blah. secret floating in busy string. Strings, so there's strings. Which is connected from the magician's ear to the saucer. A magician never tells our secrets. Whoops. I already told you guys. Wearing dark clothing and performing in dim lighting will increase the illusion since the invisible string will be much harder to see. Why couldn't it just be clear string? It's black. You'll be able to see it. It should have been like a clear thread or something. Setup. Remove a string by pulling a plastic post off cam clamshell. Detach the string putty end from the post and allow the string to unwind by handing, hanging down. Remove the stopper end from the post by sliding the string out of the notch. Okay, I'm ready to try it. Uh-oh. This part fell off. It looks like hair. It's so thin. Can you guys see that? That's the string right there. Okay, there's too much of it. Stick it on the wall for right now. So you could just put as many strings on the thing as you want, I guess. Taking it apart. So the Phantom Saucer, there's holes all around the, um, the thing to put them in, but how do you... So you're going to put the little ball thing in here. There's a little slit. Ooh. This string is, first of all, way too long. It's like a web. The problem is, it's going to get tangled, and you can't even see it. And then, ooh, this is kind of difficult. I'm just going to wrap it around my hand. Uh, uh, whoa, it's a crazy UFO. Phantom Saucer, I give it... Two out of five, it's pretty cool. Good for kids, party tricks. They're not scared of UFOs or anything. Okay, we're done with that. Cool. Next, we're gonna try, I'm gonna try. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this. Chueo, Chuao, Chocolatier. So this first one is the Maple Bacon Mini Chocolate Bar. Um, little, just little chocolate samples. The second one is a potato chip. These are all the same brand. They're all single miniature 
chocolates. And then the last one is a firecracker chocolate, which, oh my gosh, I'm going to save that one for last. First one we're going to try is the maple bacon. All right, so let's see what it smells like. It smells like chocolate. Ooh, cocoa pod. That is what it looks like. All right, so this is the chocolate bacon one. Hmm. I thought it was going to be bacon covered chocolate, but it's just solid chocolate with chunks of bacon in it. The main thing I taste is the chocolate. And kind of when, if you've ever had like chocolate with like pretzel, it's kind of like that where it's crunchy and it has that salty taste. I give this one three out of five stars. Next one is the potato chip chocolate. Same thing, um, cocoa thing. I thought with the shape, I thought it was going to be an actual potato chip dunked in chocolate, but let's try this out. Mmm, okay. You can really taste the potato chip in this one. Mmm. I give that one like four to five stars. That one's pretty good. Alright, so this last one, the firecracker. Sea salt, a dash of chipotle, and popping candy, crackle, and dark chocolate. Whew! Happy birthday to me! Well, here's the firecracker one. This one looks promising! Oh! Oh! I love dark chocolate. Here we go. taste the spiciness and the crackling go down my throat. Whoa. I need some water. That one is really good. It is spicy, but it's only like at the end when you swallow it. You can feel it in your throat rather than your mouth. The Pop Rocks, that's fun. It is firecracker because it's spicy and poppy. I give that one 5 out of 5 stars. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun filming it. Um, give this video a like if you liked it and enjoyed it. I hope you did. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. Oh my gosh, my Friday is going to be crazy. I'll see you guys next Friday with a brand new video. Bye! I feel it popping in my brain. Ah.